To this day, Chris Reeve remains one of the industry's most influential knife makers, with accolades that include the invention of the frame lock, the development of S30V and S35VN steels, and, of course, the design of the iconic Sabenza folder. It's the lattermost of these accomplishments, however, that's arguably his most impressive. Because let's face it, when Chris Reeve penned the first Sabenza way back in 1987, he captured lightning in a bottle. Handmade in South Africa with a sandblasted titanium handle and a premium satin-finished steel blade, it was a knife that redefined what quality cutting tools could be. For many EDC enthusiasts, then, owning a Sabenza is the end game. Pocketable, perfection, incarnate. Even still, the knife is a pretty pricey investment at $375 and up, especially when you consider some of the alternatives. The question is though, is it worth it? Let's find out. As much a work of art as it is a utilitarian cutting tool, the Chris Reeve Sabenza is a knife that's truly beautiful to look at. From the eye-catching blue accents to the precision chamfering on the handle, it makes its meticulous craftsmanship readily apparent. You aren't so much appreciative of the Sabenza's design then, as you are awestruck by the thoughtfulness of its detail. For instance, the titanium handle comes in a muted matte gray with a subtle sandpaper finish. In addition to being aesthetically pleasing, it also has a satisfying heft to it. Slim in hand, yet solid and well built. Fitted with a color matched, deep carry pocket clip, it's made only better by its elegant shape and understated engraved branding. The blade is also a true masterpiece, machined with a simple drop point silhouette, a crowned spine, and a hollow grind. Finished in a stonewashed gray, it comes with some 21 notches along the jimping. While such a combination makes for an undeniably impressive visual spectacle, it's the rich thunk upon deployment that really demonstrates the Sabenza's build quality. For all of its aesthetic appeal, the 3.61 inch blade is perhaps the most controversial aspect of the Sabenza 31. Earlier models in the production run featured CPM S35VN, a choice that many EDC enthusiasts found to be a bit underwhelming. More of a mid-tier alloy than it is an ultra-premium material, it's a steel commonly found on cheaper alternatives like those from Kaiser and Wii. Since that time, however, Chris Reeve has updated the Sabenza with CPM S45VN steel in an effort to keep the knife relevant. Beyond offering improved edge retention and greater resistance to corrosion and wear, it also boasts superior toughness over S35VN. When combined with the knife's hollow grind, makes for a blade that's incredibly intuitive to sharpen with this drop. In fact, in no time at all, you can have a razor sharp edge. One of the biggest updates the 31 brings to the Sabenza family comes in the form of the ceramic ball bearing detente integrated within the Chris Reeve integral lock. In conjunction with a slightly reshaped lock arm, such an addition means that the contact point between the blade and the ball is far more fluid. As a result, the 31 maintains its rock-steady lockout, whilst being considerably easier to open than the 21. Now, it's hardly what you'd call flickable or fidget-friendly, especially considering that small thumb stud, but it's nevertheless buttery smooth. At no point did we feel any blade play, and the action was free of catch from open to close. If there's one component where the Sabenza really excelled, it's the handle. Made from 6AL 4V titanium and finished with a light sandblasting, it clocks in at a generous 4.79 inches end to end. Though some users may find it a tad slim to grip, it's nevertheless one of the most ergonomic knives on the market. Holding it feels perfectly natural, and the chamfering around the lock bar cutout on the show side gives the thumb plenty of room to grab the stud come time for deployment. Chris Reeve also made a number of updates to the handle over the 21 such as freeing up the lanyard hole and angling the pocket clip. Sure, there are subtle changes, but they vastly improve the in-hand experience. Because the lanyard has more float, it's not nearly as obtrusive as in past events. And, while the pocket clip no longer follows the clean lines of the handle, it provides much more consistent spring tension, optimized for deep pocket carry. If you're after a premium EDC option then, it's hard to go wrong with the Chris Reeves Sabenza 31. Still very much the gold standard in high quality cutting tools, 
It's a knife that pairs top-notch materials with meticulous attention to detail. While the Sebenza is not exactly perfect, the blade steel could still be a bit nicer, and the handle may be a little narrow for some, it's damn near close. Moreover, at $375 and up, it won't be the best value proposition for every EDC enthusiast, especially if you're a new knife carrier or you already have a 21 in your collection. That being said, Chris Reeve has become synonymous with quality for a reason. The Sebenza's level of craftsmanship is second to none. The holy grail of cutting tool carry, it's a knife that continues to reign supreme. Thank you.